On this video, I just wanted to show you that I have already installed my extended brake lines. I apologize for not taking a video of it. The camera was giving me some issues and I just didn't feel like waiting to get them resolved. I just wanted to hurry up and get the Jeep on the road. So I installed the longer brake line. It was just a matter of you know, removing the old rubber line from up here where it mounts to the hard line and where it mounts to the caliper and then just installing the new one. Of course these Goodridge stainless steel uh, braided stainless brake lines don't come with the bracket to hold them in place. So I just took a piece of uh, eighth inch steel and made my own brackets and as you can see there is plenty of slack in these brake lines. And here's the right front brake line. Uh, I'm sorry about the poor lighting conditions. But as you can see here, you know, plenty of brake line. And I've already tested it with the sway bars disconnected at full axle drop, and it's nowhere close to being tight. So these work out perfect. And there's the other bracket that I've made. I'll try to show you a little top view of that. I basically just bent the bracket into a little 90 degree angle and of course rounded off the edges, but I did make a little pin that goes into this little locating hole um, just like the original brake lines did. And it worked out pretty good. So that'll keep the bracket from spinning around on me in case the brake line ever does get pulled on anything. And of course the brake line is held in place just like the, the factory rear brake line where the brake line goes through the hole in the bracket and then this little locking clip slides down over the top. Then of course you hook your brake line on from there. But that's it for the front ones. And here's the rear brake line, which this particular one came with the Rubicon Express 2.5 inch suspension system. Which is just a matter of removing the vent tube from the axle, and then the barbed fitting that the vent tube attaches to is actually what bolts on the brake line to the axle. You remove that, and of course, remove the two hard lines from that fitting there. And then up top, I'll wait for that tractor to go by, so maybe you can hear me. They're mowing today. Anyway, up here where it mounts up by the frame, I can't really show it to you too well without removing the wheels and tires and putting the Jeep up on jack stands or anything. So. Uh, if you want to see a better picture of this, look at my video where I dismantled the 1992 Jeep Wrangler YJ, and I actually do show a little part where I removed the factory brake line, and you'll see the lock clip and all that stuff. But it, you know, it's just like on the the new front lines, brake line just goes through the hole on this little mounting bracket. It's held in with one of those uh, locking clips that just slide over it, and then of course just. Uh, thread the hard line into it but that's it for the brake lines I apologize for not doing a step-by-step -step video but I can't help the camera issues but I wasn't gonna wait to fix them so there's a little review video basically right now um, the next video will be the transfer case lowering kit which I did end up installing thank you for watching